Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. So in this video, I'm going to walk through how I troubleshooted um, my Dante Wing expansion card not working after I upgraded to firmware 3.0 on the Behringer Wing. Okay, so I went a few of the details here because they may matter in my situation and what I have, okay? Um, I have the Behringer Wing. I was coming from firmware 2.0. So I was going from firmware 2.0 and I was trying to go all the way to 3.0.4. Okay, that was what was available at the time of my upgrade. And when I did that, uh, everything worked great, upgraded to 3.0. Uh, the whole board worked great, except for I could not get Dante working. Uh, the, the wing would not show up on the Dante network in my Dante controller software. Okay, so that was the issue that presented. Uh, kind of walk you through my troubleshooting process. So obviously the first thing I did was Make sure I wasn't missing something obvious. Cables were plugged in, adapters, kind of, you know, did some troubleshooting there to make sure I wasn't missing something. Um, and it definitely seemed like the firmware upgrade was what broke it. So um, the Dante cards, to update them, to update the firmware on the Dante card itself, obviously is different than the firmware of the wing. To do that, you do it in the Dante controller software uh, on a computer. So the wing has to show up in the software on the network, and then you can update the card. So my issue was the wing was not showing in the software, and so I couldn't update it. So through my troubleshooting process, uh, what I went ahead and did was I downgraded the wing firmware back to 2.0, uh, which in turn got my Dante card working. So at that point, uh, I could update it in the Dante software, then once I got that working, uh, when I updated the Dante card firmware, that was successful. However, it rebroke Dante. So now Dante didn't work on 2.0 using the newer firmware on the Dante card. So then again, through more troubleshooting, when I was able to uh, just upgrade the wing back to 3.0.4, everything was working great. So that was kind of my whole process. And then I'm going to show you real quick how, um, how you update that Dante card if you need to know uh, in Dante controller. So let's jump over to uh, the computer here. So I've got my Dante controller. Um, you've got the computer showing as well as the wing. So in my case, the wing was missing. Um, so was, you need to have the wing showing. So maybe before you upgrade, obviously, have that showing. And it does show your current Dante version here, which is really important, obviously. Um, the Dante version that I was running, so the Dante version that did not work on the 3.0 firmware was 4.2.4.8. All right, and then the newest version at the time of this recording, which I'm currently on and currently does work on 3.0, uh, is 4.2.7.7. So you can see that I have that showing here. So assuming you needed to update this, um, you're gonna click the Dante Updater, which is this button next to the plus and the menu here. And it opens the actual Dante Updater software. This software on the Home tab um, has a couple windows here. You have devices that have updates available, which currently I have no devices because I've updated everything. You would likely have your wing show up here. And then under Up to Date, you can see I have my computer in the wing because I have updated it. So you would go to updates available, you would have the wing here, it would show that it's out of date, it would show you the new version, and then you would just click update selected devices down at the bottom, and that would walk you right through it. It's a really easy process, um, you know, it's just kind of a next, 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 and it updates that card. So that would be how you update the internal, sorry, it's not internal, it's, it's an expansion card, because you can actually do an internal card it's a whole thing. So the wing can support internal cards and external expansion cards. So I've got the external expansion card to the Dante network. That's how you update it. Um, and that's how I got this issue working. So this was pretty new. I wasn't really able to find uh, information 
you know, searching Google and stuff on how to fix this issue. Um, nor did Behringer or Dante necessarily really say that this was an issue that I could find. Um, you know, it may be known, it may be in the, the documentation somewhere. I didn't really dig in, but um, so it does appear that if you have an out of date Dante card firmware, that that will then not work with the Wing firmware 3.0. So that's that process. That's how I got it working. Just want to share a little bit of my troubleshooting. Hopefully, it helps you if you're in this situation. Uh, you know where your Dante card stops working after you upgrade. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.